And this is what personal brand actually it is. So it is about how other people see you. Because one thing is what we think about ourselves. And then other thing is how people see that. And then when we talk about career, it's about strategically presenting yourself. So now I can shortly tell you my story, actually. So I was born and raised in Serbia. And by the time when I was choosing my university study, my country was devastated with two wars and a dictatorship, and it was a very bad situation. So I always had passion for engineering, and I knew that I'm going to study something like that. But I didn't know really exactly what. So when I came to the idea of civil engineering, I was also asking myself, well, are we going to have enough money as a country to build in the future? So what I'm going to do? And then it just clicked. I realized that my passion for buildings can be combined with my passion for helping people. And then I can not only have them build new buildings, but I can also have them renew already existing and damaged buildings. And that's what I was doing for the past 10 years. So exactly, I have also PhD in structural engineering at Politecnico di Milano. I specialize uh, in historical buildings, damage to these buildings. Uh, I'm also married, yes, I have three kids living in the Netherlands currently. I speak uh, multiple languages and I'm career coach for women uh, and, and female leadership. So I'm, I'm very pleased to meet you all. How do we change the rule? Very important question. First of all, you have to be aware that the rules exist. Second of all, you have to discover them. Third of all, you have to play the game to get more influence, and fourth, change the rules. It is very difficult and we need still to go a lot, but this is the situation at the moment. And I'm not saying that you should change yourself, but it is more about adapting strategically your behavior, what you show to people, being aware of your impact and influence on other people, and then to, high, to rise higher on the influence line, get more influence and change. Uh, someone says, uh, led by example. Yes, of course, led by example, because when you get on those top C positions, full professor positions and so on, just name it, then you can help other women to get also there, but also to change the rules uh, of the game, as I said. Put out the fire. So what does this mean? It is widely seen that men tend to take more hot or burning tasks in a project, organization, or roles. And it is also seen that women tend to either um, put out very small fires or do everything that they can in order to prevent the fire. So what I often was hearing from men when we were about to discuss if a colleague should be promoted to a higher position, they were often saying for females, well, she doesn't seem like she's actually solving any problems. You know, uh, she just talks a lot. And what, what then I try to tell them, well, are you sure about it? Because what I see is that she does a lot of work, a lot of efforts, for problems not to rise at all. And what I tell to women, be strategical. Sometimes let it go, let the fire goes out and then go there and you put it out and then say it loud, I did it. So that's one of the unwritten rules where we see the difference in the feminine and masculine uh, preferred working style. And what we call disappearing act is both of these. So first of all, women tend to do a lot of relational work, what we call. So that is making the team work well, keeping the good atmosphere in the, in the meetings, making the project ongoing, even if it is not going smooth and so on. But these kind of relational work, such as organizing a conference, organizing a workshop and so on, goes very much not noticed. So be aware of that, avoid disappearing act and make sure that your results are seen. A very interesting uh, unwritten rule, and this is the last one for tonight because we are very limited, unfortunately, in our time, that is speak up. So it happened to me so many times. I'm sitting in a meeting and uh, most of the time I am the only woman in the meeting, in the team, in the organization. And uh, I hear all kinds of conversations and then I think at the end, 
yeah, they said actually everything that I thought. So there is nothing much to say for me. And then I'm silent the whole uh, meeting. But actually, if you want to brand yourself, you should do it strategically. Even if every, every single of your thoughts has been said, use your opportunity to brand yourself. You can just repeat something that someone said at the beginning of the meeting. You can do a kind of summary. You can ask some question, but don't stay silent the whole meeting. Please use your space and show yourself strategically. And often I get a question, what will other people think about you? Well, Mira, can I ask you one question? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. No, um, because uh, I'm, uh, let's say, quite Dutch. I, I, I always say a lot in meetings and it can be that I say far too much. So I don't have the problem that I don't say anything. I say, <laughs> say, say a lot. So uh, do you have any tips around that? Perhaps it's not uh, in this one, but that was what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. How do yeah. you do that? Definitely, yeah. Well, we have our apart program uh, where we do these uh, kinds of questions on very personal basis. So it is, uh, well, I can also go to that slide. So it is this uh, women's career program that is a six month program and it's a, it, it is in a group of only six women. And there we have really a dedicated session about presenting yourself and giving the presentations and all kinds of these things. I can relate to you because I'm uh, very much the same. Uh, so talking a lot uh, recently in last years became my thing also. Uh, people usually listen only to themselves. So even if it looks to you that you're talking too much, it's not. And if it feels like bragging or talking too much, that means that you are on your 100% because women tend to make them smaller. And um, if, if you feel like bragging, it means you are saying 100% truth. So don't worry about it. And thinking about what other people, if they will like you or no, only one third of people will like you. One third will not like you and one third will don't give a care uh, about you. I mean, not about you, but any person. That's, that's what the research show. So just one last thing. I am happy to offer you also the early bird offers for our long-term course. You will get these slides later on. So uh, each of you can, can make use of this and there are only six places. Thank you so much.